Chip and Rob are here. We've had some people wanting to know where we have been. So it's been a while since we put out a video and we've had a lot of things happen to us since our last video. We originally planned to come to Contentment during my spring break just for a few days. Egypt took a couple of days off. Of course, I had the entire week. And then as the world knows, all sorts of craziness started to happen. And uh, since the craziness started to happen, we've had a lot of strange events too. It's good to catch up with all of you. Uh, we do apologize for not getting something out sooner, uh, but it's just like, like Robert said, it's been crazy with the coronavirus. As we said in a prior video, if that thing, if things got weird or serious about it, we would come to contentment. And so we attempted to come to contentment earlier. Um, the first delay, we had to help out a family member, mm -hmm. and that set us back a, a week. Yeah. And then. And then uh, we we don't have a video out on it yet. Uh, we were hoping to to uh, get that out sometime soon. We had a day. A debut video set but uh, it's just not ready to show yet we got another vehicle so we'll we'll debut that another time and, and get into that and describe it we had a nice surprise when we finally got here to contentment you want to tell them about huh. it Robert we were freaking robbed yeah. everything we left here yeah. and unfortunately you know it is what it is we thought we secured the places as, as best we could we were here in December didn't get here the first week of Mar March as we wanted to. Of course, trying to determine when it happened. It happened between December and when we got here. So, but I think it's kind of weird that we had been gone from September to November, nothing, from November to December, nothing. And then this time around, then we have, we're totally wiped out. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a strange robbery, if you will, because they took weird things. <clears throat> we had two oil lamps. They left them, but took the, took the bottle of oil, or the lamp oil. Um, they took the bed, and the frame, and the pillows, but left the uh, dust. The bed skirt. Yeah, yeah the, the bed dust. skirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a an old-timey bathtub. They took the claws, the feet, but left the bathtub. Um, so they took all the building supplies we had left here, but... We had, we had a substantial um, amount of building supplies. We had some... Tongue and groove aspen that we were going to put on the ceiling here uh, in the house, uh, about 400 square feet of it gone. Uh, the wood stove that used to sit right here gone. Uh, I mean, we never even got to light it once. It was new. Um, and, um, you know, just uh, we had solar panels in here that when we had to go back for the season, we just didn't have room for them. Uh, on the truck. So, you know, we, we took a risk and we left these things here and of course, you know, the risk bit us. And so. what's kind of interesting is we had the two uh, plate uh, electric cooker. They took that, but they left the old timey uh, fry electric, electric fry skillet. skillet thing. <laughs> it's just so weird the things that they took and the things that they They left. don't like harvest gold. I guess. Who knows? But anyway. Um, anyway, they took we had a brand new pressure tank for the well that sat under the sink over here behind the camera uh, that was set to go. They took it. Um, you know, I, I mean, they, they cleaned us out. It was a, it was a rather large loss. And, uh, you know, people ask about insurance. Well, you know, for those of them, in case you don't know, when you insure your property in your main home, only 10% of its value is covered away from that home. So only 10% of it would be covered here at contentment. So it's still a huge loss. Um, and uh, it's a big loss. It's going to set us back a little bit. Um, thankfully, they did not get the well pump and all of the other well supplies and uh, equipment that we had set aside uh, to, you know, finish off the well this season. We, we were able to take that back, uh, you know, to the central U.S., to the duplex with us uh, to keep it <clears throat> safe for the winter. We did take a chance on the solar panels, the panel rack system, and all the building materials and supplies in here. And we got bit and we lost. They cut the gate, I'm sorry, they cut the fence, the barbed wire fence, out next to where we put up the gate. You'll see that in a prior video where we put up the gate. And like we said at that time, you know, a gate like that is only going to keep the honest people honest. And uh, of course, the dishonest people got here. 
we had someone who was watching the place, um, but you know how that goes sometimes. They can't watch it 24-7, and you know, you just never know about these things. So here we sit at contentment, slowly trying to put things back together. Uh, Buzz is outside, and uh, we just got his panel rack up, so he's you know equalizing his batteries and getting all charged up for us. Um, we have another uh, pressure tank that I installed last night. Uh, and then, of course, we have the well things here. We do not have the solar panels to operate the well. However, the nice thing about our well pump is that it's a flex pump, meaning it'll run off of DC or AC, 110 or 220, and it has its own controller, so we can just plug it right into Buzz. And, uh, and Buzz will operate the well until such time as we can get more solar panels and a rack for that. So, so tough times out here, folks. Uh, I mean, not just talking about the theft, but I'm on a I'm on a medical leave of absence, of course, because I work in close quarters with people, and during this time, it's not a good idea for me to be that way because I'm susceptible. You know, it, it's really a crazy time. Uh, it is a a dire time, I think, for our country, um, and there are you know people out there dying. It's a tough situation. I mean, some people will argue that we've gone overboard, you know, with the quarantines and uh, sheltering in place and things like that. Other people will say that, you know, it's appropriate. And then when you compare it with the number of um, infections and deaths and things like that, however you think about it, it's still a tough time for our country and for the world, frankly. There's plenty of hurt going on right now. A lot of people who've lost their jobs or are unable to work. Um, a lot of people in dire financial situations because of this, an economic situation. People who've lost family members. Mm -hmm. People who've lost family members and friends. Hundreds of people per day who are dying in hospitals on ventilators or you know whatever because of this virus. So why don't we take a moment to of silence just to you know think on these things and maybe pray and uh, let's do that right now. Robert and I, a few months ago, put out a video, and we would encourage you to look at it again, or, or look at it if you haven't looked at it. It's called, um, This Couple Will Change Your Mind About Homesteading, where we talked about the reasons why we wanted to switch to this kind of lifestyle. And one of the major drivers for us doing this is that we believe that, of course, that the world economy uh, was going to collapse or soon be in such trouble that sort of preempt what we thought was going to happen. Well, I think we're here. And uh, even though the Federal Reserve is printing money left and right, that's going to continue to go on until such a point where the money, all that money printing just doesn't do anything anymore. And then it's going to stall out. I believe really, really tough times are ahead for us in this country. No matter how much money the government prints, no matter how much money they drop in your lap, it's going to devalue it further and further. Um, I believe the dollar's dead. And if you're going to receive stimulus money from the government, take that money and spend it wisely. If you can, take a little bit, at least a little bit of it. Take all of it if you can. But a little bit of that printed fake money that the government's giving you and buy something with it, invest something, invest in something with it that retains its value, something like gold or silver. If you're into Bitcoin, do that. I don't trust Bitcoin because they can turn the internet off anytime. Um, but you may consider doing something like that rather than just paying bills with it because there may come a time here very, very soon when money's worthless or worth a lot less and you're gonna need something that has value uh, to be able to barter trade with something like that. The whole reason we purchased this land and are developing contentment is just for this kind of SHTF situation. And this really is sort of an SHTF situation. Um, you know, it may not look like <laughs> the SHTF situation that, you know, the preppers might want you to think it would look like or that you envisioned and 
in post-apocalyptic movies or something like that. But <clears throat> this is a very dire situation economically for our country. Well, well, because you guys know personally that you cannot spend, spend, spend without it eventually catching up with you. Yeah. And that goes for a government. It goes for a person. It goes for everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's just basic, very, very simple economics. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that <clears throat> if you could get out from under it and become more self-sufficient, then when these storms blow, um, you know, you're not as moved by them. And so that was the whole reason we created contentment, is to have this refuge when things went rough, to have this security. And, and you know, listening, listening to our sad story about getting ripped off doesn't sound very secure, we, we understand. But at least we're here, uh, we're safe from the virus, we're miles and miles from the nearest person with a virus. Um, and, um, and so, you know, we've got plenty of food, um, we have water, uh, you know, we're fine. Everything's great um, so far. Uh, we have work to do here, but we were planning on coming here in a couple months anyway and doing that work anyway. So, um, you know, it's just got us here sooner. The one thing I can say is if you are having trouble and a lot of anxiety with this, unplug. Mm -hmm. That is probably the number one thing anyone can do yeah. because the more you're on your phone, on social media, the more you're going to be bombarded by all of the bad news. So that would be what I would recommend. Um, and try to stay focused on as much positive stuff as you can, um, even though the situation is really very um, uncertain and scary mm -hmm. for a lot of people. And, um, and I really feel sorry for all of the you know like the students and the seniors and people who've had young people who are not geared not emotionally mentally ready for something like this to happen to them have the rug entirely pulled out from underneath yeah. them they don't understand it and they're like what in the world <clears throat> um so i feel for those <clears throat> people and you know i don't know on a positive note <clears throat> i'd like to introduce you to a couple more new pieces of equipment that we have affectionate names for, just like everything else we own. You know, we've got Buzz, <laughs> we've got Dinah, the backhoe. The the truck we were telling you about, his name's Rusty, and we'll introduce him in the future because he's copper colored. Um, and then we have two more vehicles here that, uh, that arrived at Contentment last week that uh, we'd like to introduce you to. They are... Dumpy. Yeah. Dumpy, which is a uh, Ford F600 uh, grain truck with a dump bed on it. We got that so that we could haul gravel and <clears throat> supplies, wood, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Things like that. Firewood, those kinds of things. And then also, uh, we, got a, we found another uh, Dynaho backhoe that we bought for parts to use, you know, in case Dyna needs them. But in looking at it, it's in better shape than Dyna, frankly. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make that one the new Dyna and turn Dyna into a parts machine, unfortunately. <laughs> but it came with a brand new crated engine uh, that was Army Surplus, been sitting, brand new engine, been sitting in Army Surplus since 1970 or something like that. And uh, so now we have a total of three engines, two of them that'll work, um, <clears throat> two transmissions. I mean, we... We have the potential for two working backhoes because we have enough there, um, but I will be happy with one. <clears throat> so, what are you thankful for, Robert? I'm thankful that none of my friends and family that I'm aware of are sickened by this virus. Mm -hmm. And most of my, well, most of my kids are going to, right now, come through this without the economic hit lots of other people are getting mm -hmm. and um, I'm thankful <clears throat> that I have this place here to get away from all of the bombardment of TV news media because here it's easier to keep you know put the phone down and get away from it because you don't have instant access to oh let's see what's on the news and what right 
and I'm thankful that my kids are, are not hurt. I, I have two daughters. Um, one of my children is sort of a victim of this, of these circumstances, not because she caught the virus. This year she was going to graduate uh, valedic as valedictorian from high school. And unfortunately, she's not going to get to give her speech. She's not going to get to walk. And, uh, you know, because school is closed. But I cannot be more proud of her. Uh, she has worked very hard for this, and she deserves it. Um, the good news is, is that, you know, Egypt's off the hook for a lot of college stuff because she's got fluoride scholarships at several colleges. My other daughter, uh, the older one, uh, unfortunately is not working because of this uh, virus issue, but uh, she's doing great. She is a great help to us uh, back at the duplex in the central U.S. She's taking care of the chickens, taking care of the place, and we couldn't be more proud of her. Um, and when, of course, when all this is over, she's going to come roaring back uh, to, you know, just about anything she wants to do. And um, she's got one of those... Um, spirits and personalities about her that's generally very positive, fun-loving, and uh, she's a great kid. So I couldn't be more proud of her. Thank you uh, for taking care of us uh, back there at the duplex. You know who you are. Things that are coming up for us, we'll have a video out on Rusty, of course, uh, the truck when he gets here. We will uh, have a video coming out on uh, installing our well pump because we're going to do that. And we've just got all kinds of, of course, you know, the plan was to come out here and do all kinds of work. Anyway, we've got to get uh, Dinah, whichever one is going to be, finished off uh, to begin, uh, you know, using her this summer. we got plenty going on. <clears throat> we have electrical work to do here uh, in the house. And I don't know. We'll use a sun oven. Might have a recipe or two coming up on that. I don't know, any number of things, so. Hey, we'd like to thank those of you who've asked after us and uh, appreciate your concern. We appreciate that friendship. It's, you know, you wonder sometimes when you put these videos out if, if anybody really cares. <laughs> and so it's nice to hear from those of you who've reached out to us and asked about us. Thank you very much. Um, we are fine. Neither of us are sick. And we're just busy about things here at Contentment. We'll get back with videos here um, on a regular basis as soon as we can. From us to you here at Contentment. Stay safe, stay positive, and, and this too shall pass. <clears throat> what comes after, we don't know, but it will pass. <laughs> anyway, thanks folks. Take care. Bye.